Spooky Scalar. This is a new device that we've been developing over a year. Here you can see Spooky Scalar. We announced this accessory during the conference tour. The key to healing is information, scalar information. Our cells communicate using scalar fields. When this communication is blocked, our health deteriorates. Spooky Scalar can restore our body's natural healing mechanisms. Spooky Scalar is the first scalar treatment device to provide three different methods of transmitting healing scalar waves. You can choose which of these best suits your needs. Spooky Scalar is comprised of two black cases. One is called a transmitter and the other a receiver. The transmitter is turned on and tuned. Anyone or anything between the lids of the two cases receives life-giving scalar waves. Scalar treatments can be that simple. Scalar energy was first discovered by James Clark Maxwell, a Scottish scientist who was born in 1831. Maxwell gave great contributions in the field of mathematical physics. He formulated the theories of electromagnetic radiation and electromagnetic fields. Nikola Tesla later worked on Maxwell's findings and proved the existence of scalar energy. What's remarkable again is that this happened such a long time ago and it's not taught in common schools. What are scalar fields? Before the 1900s, Nikola Tesla discovered an electromagnetic longitudinal wave which can transfer energy without loss and without wires. Nikola Tesla does not explain how it works in his patient and he does not try to give it a name. Now this type of wave is known as scalar. The scientists of the 20th century have focused so much attention on electromagnetic waves, but few have explored scalar waves. So today we are experts in electromagnetic waves and we can do a lot with them. But a scalar wave is not scientifically mastered. There is no measuring device to accurately measure its strength or its power. Scalar fields can be thought of as being similar to a rope tied on one end. Forward and time reversed waves become locked in resonance with one another, creating an energy field. Two particles become connected. In this case, the particles will be your hand and the hook. The scalar field goes in all directions, but a receiver will absorb this energy. It will draw the energy to itself in a similar way to the ionized gas in a plasma ball. The finger absorbs the energy and a stream of electrons passes through the glass to the finger. When this happens, the energy becomes more focused. Starting scalar treatments is a breeze. There are only four simple steps. First, you place the transmitter and receiver either side of a chair or a bed. You then connect the 12 volt power adapter to the transmitter power point. You plug the link cable into the transmitter and receiver link connectors. And finally, you turn on and tune the transmitter. Spooky scalar is very simple to tune. There are three different methods. You can choose which one you find easiest. The first way is to put the coil tester to one side of the output coil. You tune the adjustment knob anti-clockwise until the lights on the PCB start to turn on. Then you turn the knob two clicks clockwise so the lights are off. After tuning, you remove the tune PCB. The second method is to use the tuning light switch on the receiver. 
You turn the tuning adjustment knob anti-clockwise until the light on the receiver is at maximum brightness. Then you press the tuning light switch again to turn it off. The third method is to place the tuning PCB in the center of the coil. Once again you turn the tuning adjustment knob anti-clockwise until the lights on the tune PCB are at maximum brightness. Always remember to remove the tune PCB after tuning. The tune frequency is usually between 5.5 and 7 MHz. Spooky Scalar can apply scalar energy in three different ways. Pure Scalar, Molecular Scalar and Rife Scalar. Pure Scalar. This is the easiest way of applying healing scalar energy. Because nothing special needs to be done. You tune Spooky Scalar, then you sit or lie between the transmitter and receiver. Pure scalar energy then flows between the two units. Molecular Scalar The scalar signal can be enhanced by placing a substance on the input coil. The molecules within the sample will change the signal between the lids. This is called modulation, as the information is transferred from one unit to the other you will receive the curative effect of the chemical. The substance can be essential oils or drugs. For instance, you can place peppermint oil on the input coil and you will receive the benefits of peppermint oil. You can use solid or liquid substances. You can combine substances if you wish. Here we've added for essential oils. And there's Rife Scalar. This combines the discoveries of Royal Rife with those of Nikola Tesla. Royal Rife found that pathogens respond to a particular frequency. Spooky Scalar can apply this frequency using healing scalar waves. Only Spooky Scalar can modulate the original frequencies of Royal Rife because Spooky Scalar can modulate at such a high frequency. It turns Spooky Scalar into the world's most advanced Rife machine. After Spooky Scalar is tuned, connect the Spooky Generator to the generator port on the transmitter. Sit between the transmitter and receiver while the programs are running. Spooky Scalar accepts any frequency from the massive Spooky database. Scalar waves from Spooky Scalar are approximately one and a half times faster than the speed of light because the local space time is folded. The information path length is reduced because light takes the long way. When a very strong force such as electromagnetic force is used for the agent of curvature, the local space time may be curved even though the local region of interest is not near a large collection of mass. You can also use Spooky Scalar to imprint frequencies. A glass of water can be placed on the output coil during molecular or rife scalar treatments. This process is called frequency imprinting. After you finish the scalar treatment, you drink this water during the day to enhance the treatment effects. And you can combine modulation methods. You can use them both simultaneously to further improve effectiveness of treatments. For example, to treat cancer, you can place frankincense, peppermint, lavender, evening primrose and citrus essential oils on the input coil and run cancer killing programs on the connected spooky generator. You can also put some water on the output coil and drink that after the treatment. It's ideal to sip it during the day to further improve the treatment effects. Now it's not just theory. There have been multiple papers written which prove the effectiveness of scalar treatment and scalar technology. In the 1960s and 1970s Scalar plasma technology was built and tested in France by Antoine Priori, 
who created extraordinary electromagnetic healing devices of astonishing efficacy. Scalar plasma technology and frequency imprinted water had a very positive effect on the autonomic nervous system that is responsible for stress management in the human body. There have been multiple clinical studies which confirm that stress and disease are intimately related with each other. There are two mechanisms in the body of concern to treatment of disease and recovery from disease and damage to the body. The first is the well-known immune system which seeks out, attacks and destroys invader cells such as cancer in the body. The immune system is also comprised of scavenger cells whose purpose is to remove the carnage. Once its mission is complete, the function of the immune system is finished. It does not heal anything, even its own damaged cells. The actual healing system of the body is the seldom known cellular regenerative system, which is a rare kind of electromagnetic system which is comprised of longitudinal scalar waves or energy, which was researched by the two-time Nobel Prize nominee, the late Dr. Robert Becker. There are benefits of scalar energy, multiple benefits. It increases the energy level of every single cell in the body to the optimum range. It improves cell wall permeability so the cells can absorb nutrients and can eliminate waste. It cleanses the blood. It improves the immune function by as much as 149%. It improves mental focus and balances the hemispheres of the brain. It functions as an antidepressant. At the Max Planck Institute in Germany, a scientist named Dr. Puharich conducted a study with E. coli. The E. coli was exposed to a slow 8 Hz scalar field. This improved the DNA repair mechanism of the E. coli. Lab tests have also indicated that Red and white blood cells tend to accumulate together during illness, injury or poor health. And scalar energy unglues the cells, improving circulation. Dr. Puharich postulated that exposure to scalar wave energy is the essential electromagnetic healing phenomena of all healing procedures. It really makes you wonder why Scalar energy is not researched further. Scalar waves and electromagnetic waves differ in numerous important aspects. Scalar waves are longitudinal and encompass the field, whereas electromagnetic waves are transverse and travel like waves. Scalar waves are instantaneous or almost instantaneous and have no loss of power over vast distances whereas electromagnetic waves lose power over distance. Actually, scalar waves increase power over distances. Scalar waves can pass through solid metal objects with no loss of power, whereas electromagnetic waves cannot. Before performing any sort of scalar treatment, you've got to tune the device. The tuning point may vary from day to day, according to the temperature and humidity, as well as the layout of the machine. Both units should have their lids facing each other, and you keep the linking cable away from metal. With all our accessories, except for Spooky Remote, we give the general warning, people who are pregnant or have a placemaker should not use Spooky Scalar. Overnight treatments are perfectly safe. You do not get frequency fatigue from overexposure to scalar fields. Your body takes what it needs and disregards the rest.